I just want to record this and show you that OBS Studio is working right now from FreeBSD. I'll move it to a different uh, monitor. Uh, so I'm, I cannot use my new camera, uh, which is uh, HD 1080p, that's a Logitech uh, C920, but I'm using uh, the older one from, I think, uh, five, six years ago, something like C700 series. It's not bad, but you see the quality is quite, uh, it's quite different than from the video recorded when I announced from Arch Linux to FreeBSD in general from Linux to BSD uh, the first impressions are are it's okay I mean everything I have that I use to use on uh, Linux still it's X FCE window environment desktop environment uh, I see slightly less usage of CPU than on Linux. The usage of RAM, it's almost the same. I mean, I'm just using the OBS at the moment. Firefox is working, YouTube is fi working fine. I don't have any problems with that. So this is Noodles, another kit. As you can see, uh, YouTube is working fine. I can finally record my videos on uh, on FreeBSD and use the main station. Right now I want to see the Linux compatibility layer. I'll explore that. Uh, I made webcam work using the, I haven't mentioned that, using a webcam service. Uh, I switched also from uh, GDM to CM for uh, manager. I have issue now with one thing that I want to resolve and that's the volume management and that's still the open open topic uh, because I want to access my SD cards and uh, mass storage like like uh, cameras and so on but in general I'm really satisfied with FreeBSD like I would like to replicate this experience on uh, NetBSD as well just for comparison uh, so far so good uh, the another thing is I need because I need docker uh, I'll need to find way how to run the latest docker and it probably is going to be something similar to a docker for Mac so it will run in a virtual machine on Beehive in, and there will be probably socket open between the FreeBSD and the, the virtual machine and everything will be actually hosted in the virtual machine I'll need to explore that but I think that's going to be the way I noticed something here slightly from time to time I have a hiccups with the system I mean I don't have bad system I have really good system where it happens see here it might be issue with graphic graphic card I don't know it might be issue with something else uh, but it's a little bit sluggish uh, also, when computer starts, it takes quite a lot of time. I think it takes like one to two minutes to just come to the, to the desktop environment, which is not bad. I mean, that's, that's completely fine. I, I can't live with that. I'm not going to do it every moment. Uh, that's in general that. I mean, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite satisfied. And uh, uh, I had an issue with sound. Uh, Pulse Audio was installed. Uh, earlier today and last night when I first time installed this uh, FreeBSD there was white noise uh, you know on uh, on speaker and the issue was following one of these input devices when its volume is not set on zero and I think that's some line in interface you know the, the microphone line in line out these kind of things line in was not set to zero uh, volume level on that wasn't set to zero and that if it's set to anything else even if you mute it that's that that was the thing even if you mute it uh, you still hear like really annoying white noise and I resolved that by just like 
pulling the, the, the slider to zero and it, it completely disappeared. It was something really, you know, something was really annoying. But in general with FreeBSDM so far, so I'm really, I'm really satisfied. The speed and, and the, the, the packages, I mean the packages, everything is there, everything I need. There are a couple of things I really hate, for example, this Oh, we don't have bike. Oh, we don't have a uh, bash. I want to show you. So I haven't set bash. So you just say uh, bash, and that's it. And here is bash. And this is I know this is bash because of uh, you know because how this looks like because how prompt it looks like. Anyway, I'll uh, close here this video. And uh, thank you for uh, for following this video series of my uh, uh, BSD exploration and adventure. And I'll definitely post more and definitely I'll go in a couple of directions. Number one is like making sure Docker works because that's I depend on that daily work depends on that. Number two is uh, trying again a chance, giving a chance to net BSD and making sure that drivers work. I think they're going to work. And then third one, and there is third one, I want to play really with jails and uh, IO cage. That's something really important to me. Uh, and for the software that, that I'm currently building, I, I think it's something, I think it will be essential part of it. Until next time, stay safe, stay good, and keep yourself self, uh, safe in these weird times of Corona and stay positive. Just stay positive and on good track and keep a good fight. Goodbye.